The first thing you need to do when working with Edpuzzle is to create classes so that you can track your students. So I've already gone ahead and logged into Edpuzzle and I'm on my classes dashboard. So you can see here I have some classes already started and there are two ways that you can add a class. You can add a class manually or you can import from Google Classroom. So I'm going to go ahead and click add a class. It's going to ask you to enter the name for the class, then you'll click the check mark. This will create your class for you and it will tell you to invite your students. If you click on invite students, you have a number of different ways that you can add students to your Edpuzzle class. You can give them this code and they can enter this um, in their account or you can actually send them this link through Google Classroom or through an email and they'll add, then they will be added to your class. So students have to have an Edpuzzle account in order for you to be able to track their progress, but they don't have to have an email address to sign up for an account with Edpuzzle, so that's a nice feature. So that's one way that you can add students to your classes.